It was a brisk evening in a small town. The usual hustle and bustle had been replaced by a unique energy. The streets were lined with people, some wearing red caps emblazoned with Make America Great Again. Others were simply curious onlookers drawn to the spectacle of a Trump rally. The venue was packed, the atmosphere electric with anticipation. Supporters eagerly awaited the arrival of the man they had come to see. Among the crowd stood someone who would soon capture everyone's attention, not just for his appearance, but for the story that would unfold. Marcus, a talented black artist known in his local community as Artlanta, had decided to attend the rally. He wasn't there to protest or make a political statement in the traditional sense. Instead, he carried with him a large canvas covered with cloth, his latest piece of work, which he intended to present to Donald Trump himself. Marcus had always been an enigma in his town. His art was celebrated, but his political views remained a mystery. However, today his actions would speak louder than any statement he could make. As the rally kicked off, Trump took to the stage, commanding the attention of every person in the venue. He spoke with his usual fervor, touching on issues that resonated with his base, the economy, immigration, and his plans to make America great again. The crowd cheered, waving flags and chanting in support. But as Trump scanned the audience, his eyes fell on something, or rather someone, that piqued his curiosity. There amidst the sea of supporters was Marcus, holding the large covered canvas. Trump, intrigued, gestured towards him. Who's that over there? He asked, his voice booming through the speakers. The crowd parted as Marcus was ushered closer to the stage, the anticipation growing. What was under that cloth? And why had this man brought it here? Trump, always eager to seize an opportunity, invited Marcus up on stage. Come on up, he said. Let's see what you got there. The crowd murmured in excitement as Marcus climbed the steps, his heart pounding in his chest. This was the moment he had envisioned, but now that it was here, the reality felt surreal. As Marcus stood next to Trump, he unveiled the painting. The crowd gasped in awe. Before them was a powerful image of Trump, fist raised in defiance, capturing the essence of the moment he had famously been targeted during a campaign rally. The painting was more than just a portrait. It was a statement, a symbol of resilience and determination that resonated deeply with the audience. Trump stared at the painting, clearly impressed. Wow, that's beautiful, he said, his voice softened by genuine admiration. I wasn't going to bring him up, but when I saw the painting, I said, come on up, maybe he'll give it to me. The crowd laughed, but there was a sense of mutual respect in the air. Marcus, however, had other plans. Instead of giving the painting to Trump, he simply asked him to sign it. Trump obliged, scribbling his name in bold letters at the bottom of the canvas. As the crowd applauded, Trump made a quip. I brought him up here because I thought he was going to give it to me. He didn't give it. He just got me to sign it. I got nothing out of that. The audience laughed, but there was a deeper meaning behind the exchange. This wasn't just a typical fan encounter. It was a narrative-breaking moment. The rally continued, but the impact of that interaction lingered. For those who had witnessed it, the moment was more than just an unexpected turn of events. It was a challenge to the conventional narratives that had been built around Trump and his supporters for years. The media had often portrayed Trump rallies as hostile environments, particularly towards minorities. Yet here was a black artist standing on stage with Trump, sharing a moment of mutual admiration and respect. As the rally drew to a close, the story of Marcus and his painting began to spread. It wasn't long before the video of the encounter went viral, drawing reactions from all sides of the political spectrum. Supporters of Trump pointed to the moment as evidence that the president was not the divisive figure the media often portrayed. They argued that Trump was a leader who resonated with people from all walks of life, regardless of race or background. Critics, on the other hand, struggled to reconcile the image of a black artist being celebrated at a Trump rally with their preconceived notions of what these events represented. Some dismissed it as a staged moment, while others acknowledged that it was a genuine interaction that challenged their views. For Marcus, the experience was transformative. He'd gone to the rally with the intention of making a statement through his art, but he hadn't anticipated the impact it would have. His painting, once just another piece in his portfolio, 
had become a symbol of something much larger, a conversation about race, politics, and the complexities of the American identity. In the days that followed, Marcus received countless messages of support, but also criticism. Some accused him of betraying his community by associating with Trump, while others praised him for his courage to stand up and present his art in a space that many would consider hostile. Marcus took it all in stride, understanding that his actions had sparked a debate that went beyond the confines of the rally. As the dust settled, one thing became clear. The encounter between Marcus and Trump had left an indelible mark on all who had witnessed it. It was a reminder that despite the polarization that gripped the nation, there were still moments that could bridge divides, however briefly. Marcus's painting, with its powerful imagery and the story behind it, had become a symbol of that possibility. And that, in the end, the rally was more than just a political event. It was a moment of connection between two individuals who, on the surface, seemed worlds apart. And in that moment, the usual narratives were set aside, if only for a little while, allowing for a glimpse of something deeper, the possibility of understanding, respect, and even unity in a time of division. As Marcus reflected on the experience, he realized that his art had achieved something he hadn't anticipated. It had sparked a conversation, challenged assumptions, and perhaps most importantly, reminded people that there was more to the story than what met the eye. And in a world that often seemed divided by politics and race, that was a powerful message indeed. Donald Trump is one of the most polarizing figures in modern American history. His rise to the presidency was marked by bold promises, unfiltered rhetoric, in a style that defied political norms. However, many view him as a divisive and harmful figure. Critics argue that Trump has stoked racial tensions, undermined democratic institutions, and used inflammatory language that emboldened hate groups. His handling of key issues such as immigration, the COVID-19 pandemic, and relations with foreign allies has been heavily criticized, with many accusing him of prioritizing his personal interests over the nation's well-being. Moreover, Trump's frequent attacks on the media, his refusal to unequivocally denounce white supremacists, and his controversial policies, like the travel ban on predominantly Muslim countries, have fueled the perception that he promotes division rather than unity. His actions and statements have led many to believe that he lacks the empathy and integrity expected of a leader, further cementing his image as a bad person in the eyes of his detractors. However, Trump's supporters see him as a champion of the people, someone who speaks truth to power and challenges the status quo. They argue that his unorthodox approach is what the country needs to address longstanding issues. So what do you think? Is Donald Trump truly the divisive and harmful figure that his critics claim? Or is he a misunderstood leader fighting for America's future? Do you see him as a bad person? Or do you believe that there's more to the story? Share your thoughts and explain why you feel the way you do.